Hey, what's up producers? Joshua Casper here to let you know that Ozone 10 is finally here. The team over at Isotope have let me know that they've been focusing on innovative DSP and aiming at delivering outcomes that are better without focusing on the tech itself. So you can expect that these new additions will be smarter and easier to use while giving you better sounding audio, which is of course, always the main goal. And I'm happy to say that they've done what they've set out to do and much more. Just a heads up before we jump in, later this month, I'm gonna be joined by the Isotope 10 product lead, Bill Podolak, for a live stream right here on the channel, where he will go through everything that Ozo 10 has to offer in detail. And of course, you can ask your questions to him in real time. So make sure to join us for that. Hit the subscription button and the bell so you can be updated when it happens, but it will be, I think, the 22nd of September. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But in the meantime, let's check out what the new features are in Ozone 10. It's all coming up, so let's get into it. The big ticket item here is that there are four new DSP technologies that have been added to the Ozone suite. First up, the stabilizer module. This delivers automatic clarity. It's kind of like an EQ, but an intelligent EQ with a PhD. It reacts to incoming audio and you can tell it how quickly or precisely you want it to respond as well as the general areas you want it to work on. The shape mode will add boosts and cuts while the cuts will only remove what it hears as possibly bad or unwanted frequencies. This can actually be a quite subtle effect. So if you want to hear what it's doing, you can go ahead and switch on the Delta mode where you'll only hear what what's being removed. And finally, there's a tame transient switch, which will do just that, putting more control on your dynamics. Next, we have the impact module, which allows you to enhance the rhythm and feel of your track by intuitively controlling micro dynamics. And it does this via multiband compression. Now this is a first of its kind technology. What we have here at the top are individual bands where you can adjust frequency crossover positions, solo or bypass and so on. And then we have the amount sliders of the processing for each band over here on the left. And below those is the envelope timing slider, which plays a key part in what what sort of rhythmic character gets added to your master. And next up, we've got soft clipping, which has been added to the Ozone 10 Maximizer to deliver high fidelity loudness boosts to your masters. The soft clip is directly tied to the threshold parameter in the Maximizer, and the modes allow you to decide how far below the threshold setting to begin adding saturation. Light is at negative three decibels below, moderate is at negative nine, and heavy jumps all the way to negative 30 dB below the threshold. That adds a ton of saturation. It sounds so, so good. You are already know what it is. Don't sleep on saturation. And finally, a recover sides function has been added to the imager module so you can get more from mono. So the way this works is if you're boosting the stereo width, you can use the stereo wise feature that was added, I believe in Ozone 9. And if you are cutting or making your signal more mono, you can introduce recover sides. Traditionally, when you use the imager to reduce the stereo image, you are getting rid of the frequency information that isn't centered. Now it's more like taking that stereo information and moving it into the center. Now that's a very top level description, but hopefully it gives you a good idea about what's happening with this new feature. And the last thing I wanna touch on is the updated and improved mastering assistant. If you remember the first iteration of the mastering assistant, you would give it prompts before starting. Now it's more intelligent and you just need to feed it audio and it will do a bunch of stuff automatically, including detecting the genre of music. Isotope have also updated all of the targets by analyzing the chart topping tracks of today so you can expect a quicker and more precise result. Now the mastering assistant actually uses most of that new DSP I just talked about earlier in the video, which is why I'm covering it here at the end. It has adaptive EQ via the stabilizer module, stereo image matching, via the imager and dynamics matching via the new impact module. Once it's made its custom preset for your track, you of course have control over how much or how little you want it applied. And you can also do whatever you want by means of manual customization. Now remember, these are only top line additions and improvements to Ozone 10. Join me and Bill for our live stream where we're gonna go through everything in detail and answer all of your questions. And as always, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Next video.